Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're going to take a look at the viewers in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve, why are they there, how to toggle them on and off and how to use them. So when you are in the edit page, by default you have these two viewers. In the one on the left you can see the clip or timeline from your media, so for instance I can have this one if I just drag it here, this is what you can't see, and the one on your right you can see your timeline. And this is useful if you want to pick precisely some bits of this clip that you would like to drop into your timeline. So, well, let's do this. Let's have a cut here. Now I'm going to have this in and out points. I have another video on how to set those here. So now I want this part of this clip coming into this timeline. I don't want to override anything here. So I'm going to do this, which is insert clip, and this is going to insert it and then move the rest of the timeline. And this is precisely that one. And I would just want to pick a different part of this clip and let's pick this one and insert it right after it. Then same things. I selected a different part of this clip and now I can do that. Then something I find useful about this as well is that this viewer here on the right is showing me the content of the timeline. This viewer here is showing me what I have selected on the media. But also if I select some of these individual clips, it's going to show me where do they come from. For instance, this one, if I double click now, now I can see that this is the source of this particular clip in this timeline. And this is the in and out points of this particular clip of that source. Now you can see that this is another one. And this, of course, will be the latter part because that's where I did cut it before. So this is useful to see as well where do the clips in your timeline come from in your media. Then. Now I have these two clips here, but it might be that you want to make some adjustments to this particular clip. And to do that, you would use the inspector. I'll have a full video on how to use the inspector in general, but here as an example, say that I just want to zoom in a little bit in my face for some really strange reason. And then I have only this visible here. The inspector always shows me whatever information of the clip that I have selected. It also shows me common information of several clips that I have selected. See, now this is not common, but let's go that in detail in some separate video. So now the question is, how do I get here again two different viewers to see my media? Well, there's two ways to do this. One is just by well, toggling the inspector off. And another one is that if I just select a piece of media here, the preview is going to come up immediately and the inspector will be disabled. Also, if you want to treat a timeline as media and insert it into another timeline, that's something that can be done as well. And this is where it will show. So for instance, here I'm having this basics edit timeline, but let's say that I want to bring part of another timeline that I have edited on there. If I drag this timeline here, now it's in the viewer. And now we can use this one to again set, let's say in and out points and then drop it somewhere here. And now what I have done is insert part of a timeline into another one. And this is about nesting timelines, which I will have a full separate video related to it. But you can see that you can use the media viewer to see a timeline that you will use as content for other timelines. Now that you know how to use the different viewers in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve, you know how to toggle them on and off and how are they being used. Hopefully you find this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And we're going to see you soon for some more content.